Hey everyone, Ripley with Bob's Watches. In this video, we're talking all about the Rolex Daydate and discussing some of the most popular models from this iconic collection. If you haven't already done so already, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all our latest content. Arguably the most famous gold watch ever created, the Rolex Daydate was first launched in 1956 and was the world's first chronometer wristwatch that could display both the date and the day of the week spelled out in full through windows in its dial. The Rolex Datejust, which was introduced in 1945, forever set the standard for how a date complication on a wristwatch should function, and the Daydate took things one step further, immediately becoming Rolex's flagship collection of timepieces. To mark the arrival of the Daydate, Rolex introduced a new bracelet style, the President, which was specifically designed for the Daydate collection and has since become synonymous with the Daydate as a whole, hence its universally recognized Rolex President nickname. The very first Daydate watches remained in production for a relatively short period of time, and by the end of the 50s, Rolex had introduced a new generation of Daydates in the form of the 1800 series. This generation includes models such as the classic reference 1803, which is among the most common vintage Rolex Daydate watches that you're likely to encounter on the secondary market. Fitted with acrylic crystals and sloped pie pan dials, this generation of Daydate models has a decidedly vintage aesthetic, however it's still instantly recognizable as a member of Rolex's flagship collection. Despite having an appearance that more or less resembles the modern Daydate watches that Rolex produces today, the 1800 series was powered by a movement that lacked quick set functionality. This means that in order to adjust either the date or the day, you'll have to rotate the hands around the dial past midnight. Towards the end of the 1970s, Rolex released a new generation of Daydate watches in the form of the five digit 18,000 series. Now fitted with a scratch-resistant sapphire crystal, this generation of Daydate models also received a flat dial instead of the sloped pie pan ones found on its predecessor. Despite the noticeable cosmetic updates, the biggest change to accompany this new generation of Daydate watches was the movement used inside them. Now powered by the caliber 3055, this generation of the Rolex Daydate was the first to introduce quickset functionality to the collection. Known as a single quickset movement, this series of Daydate watches allowed owners to adjust the date independently from the hands, however it did not allow independent setting of the day of the week, hence its single quickset name. Additionally, around the same time, Rolex also started producing its various Oyster Quartz watches, including the Oyster Quartz Daydate. As their name would suggest, these models were powered by battery-operated quartz movements, and they also featured angular cases with redesigned present bracelets that offered an integrated appearance. A relatively small number of these Oyster Quartz models were produced, and they were not all that popular with the public and were ultimately discontinued by the early 2000s. Towards the end of the 1980s, Rolex rolled out another new generation of Daydate watches in the form of the 18200 series. Virtually identical to the previous generation, the primary difference between this series and its predecessor is the movement used to power them. The 18200 series of Daydate watches are powered by Rolex's caliber 3155 movement, which introduced double quickset functionality to the collection. With the arrival of the caliber 3155, both the date and the day of the week could now be set independently from the time-telling hands, significantly increasing the day-to-day -day practicality of Rolex's flagship watch. This set a new standard for the Rolex Daydate, and every subsequent iteration of the watch has featured double quickset functionality. In 2000, Rolex unveiled yet another new generation of the Day Date, adding a digit to the reference number and refining the overall look and feel. While this new six-digit series features the same caliber 3155 movement from the previous generation, the 36mm case of the watch now featured slightly thicker lugs with a glossy high polish finish. Additionally, while the previous generation of the brand's iconic present bracelet featured hollow center links, the new series included solid links and a redesigned clasp, resulting in a noticeably heavier presence on the wrist. Since its introduction, the Rolex Data has always been a 36mm watch. However, for many years, collectors have been begging Rolex to release a larger version of its flagship model, and in 2008, the legendary Swiss watch manufacturer finally gave the public what it wanted. The new Rolex Daydate 2 featured a larger 41mm case diameter, sufficiently satisfying the public's demand for a larger model. However, while the size had been increased, the watch no longer had the same celebrated proportions that had defined the collection for over half a century. The Daydate 2 was relatively short-lived, and by 2015, Rolex had discontinued it and replaced it with the Daydate 40. Now with the 40mm case, the new Daydate 40 was 1mm smaller than its predecessor, however the watch's iconic proportions had been restored. While the Daydate 2 offers a chunkier and more sporty design, the new Daydate 40 is very much a larger version of Rolex's classic flagship model. Additionally, the Rolex Daydate 40 also marked the arrival of a brand new movement for the collection. The caliber 3255 represents a new generation of in-house movements for Rolex, and rather than being just an updated version of its predecessor, it offers a completely new design built around Rolex's Chronergy escapement. Chronometer certified and rated to minus or plus two seconds a day, the new caliber 3255 movement also offers users an increased 70-hour power reserve. 
In 2019, Rolex updated the 36mm version of the Day Date to feature the same caliber 3255 movement as the 40mm model. Now, regardless of which Rolex Day Date model you choose, you'll be guaranteed the exact same level of legendary performance. As Rolex's flagship watch, the Day Date is only ever constructed from precious metals, either 18 karat gold or 950 platinum. However, a very small number of vintage stainless steel Day Date models are known to exist. With that in mind, Rolex Day Date watches can be found with a wide assortment of different dials, bezels, and bracelets, which result in a surprising range of diversity within the collection. Bezel styles include fluted, smooth, textured, and gem set, while dials can be found in a vast assortment of different colors, textures, materials, and finishes, and also with a number of different styles of hour markers. The present is the go-to bracelet for the Rolex Day Date collection, and it's now the only option available for Rolex's flagship line. However, previous generations of the Day-Day can be found with both oyster bracelets and leather straps. Additionally, the leather strap variants are not just simply 36mm Day-Day watches without their bracelets. They actually have slightly different cases that feature lug hoods for a more integrated appearance where the case meets the strap. While the classic full yellow gold Day Date with a fluted bezel and president bracelet is easily the most traditional configuration, the range of variation that exists within the collection makes it easy to find a model that suits your individual style and personal tastes. For additional information on the world's most iconic gold watch, be sure to check out our ultimate Rolex Day Date buying guide, and you can find the link for that in the description below. Thanks for watching our video on the Rolex Day Date collection. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can stay up to date on all our latest video content.